state of Mississippi is a seriously conservative, seriously Republican place. Republican Governor Phil Bryant won there last year with 60% of the vote. Republicans control most of the statewide offices in Mississippi. Democrats don't even bother fielding candidates for all the statewide offices in Mississippi anymore. Republicans also control both chambers of the legislature, which means whatever Governor Bryant wants to put on his conservative Republican agenda, the legislature is essentially there just to say, go. And a lot of that agenda, the Mississippi Republicans like to wrap up in the mantle of free enterprise. Like when Governor Bryant signed the Small Business Regulatory Flexibility Act. He said he wanted no business to shy away from expanding or locating in our state because of burdensome mandates. That's how Mississippi Republicans like to be known, as the guys who will do away with burdensome mandates. At the same time, Mississippi Republicans are very much in the business of burdensome mandates, as long as the burden falls on folks they would very much like to put out of business in their state. The same month that the Mississippi Republican governor signed that Small Business Act into law, he also signed another law that targeted one Mississippi business in particular. It was designed on purpose to use state government red tape to close the last abortion clinic in Mississippi. The new law placed a mandate on this business in particular. It requires doctors at this one clinic to get admitting privileges at local hospitals. Since that law passed, the clinic's two main doctors have been trying to comply with the new regulation that was designed just for them. They've been applying for admitting privileges that the state now says they're supposed to have. The doctors started with a list of 12 hospitals in and around Jackson, where the clinic is. The clinic's owner tells us that their applications were 50 pages plus per doctor per hospital. The applications took, took weeks to compile, each hospital each time. Uh, two of them, the big teaching hospital in the city and the Baptist hospital in town, they wouldn't even accept the doctor's applications. Five other hospitals did agree to receive the doctor's applications, but they rejected them. Not on the merits of the doctors as doctors, but for administrative reasons, like the hospital's policies on abortion, or concern about disrupting the hospital's business within the community. And so this thing designed by Mississippi Republicans to be impossible, turned out to be impossible. They wanted to create a new regulation that the state's one last abortion clinic could not follow because they wanted to shut it down. And we know this because Governor Phil Bryant said so on tape. I think it's historic. Um, and today you see the first step uh, in uh, a movement, I believe, to do what we campaigned on, to say we're going to try to end abortion in Mississippi. It is constitutionally protected, but that's not the point in Mississippi. In case Mississippi's governor somehow wasn't clear enough, the state's Republican lieutenant governor backed him up even more clearly. Our goal needs to be to end all abortions in Mississippi. I believe the admitting privileges bill uh, gives us the best chance to do that. Now that the clinic's doctors have been denied those admitting privileges, Mississippi Republicans' goal of using state government to end abortion in Mississippi has a very specific timeline. So you can now mark on your calendar January 11th, just a few weeks away, that is the date on which Mississippi's last remaining abortion clinic will become in violation of the law, just by being a functioning abortion clinic, unable to comply with regulations that were designed specifically to be impossible to comply with. Yesterday, the clinic asked a federal court to block enforcement of that law so they can stay open. So remember that date, January 11th. Unless that court intervenes, that date, January 11th, is when American women in one American state will lose access to what is supposedly their constitutionally protected right because Republicans in that state decided that for them.